Hello, this is Radio Geek, and today for you I have a piece of uh, test equipment. This is a Heathkit RF signal generator, model RF-1. Got this at a ham fest earlier this summer, and um, apparently back in the time frame when they built these, these style connectors were popular. Um, I believe it's some kind of an audio cable that they used for um, test equipment back in the time frame this is built, which is, uh, I'm going to say, early 70s. But they're not so much uh, used or available anymore these days. Um, so I thought it'd be nice if this had B and C connectors for um, the RF out and the uh, AF out connectors on this uh, signal generator. So I got some. Uh, Amphenol um, 31-216-RFX um, BNC uh, connector, like a bulkhead style, I guess. So I'm going to try to take this apart, get these guys out, and install these instead. It'll make it a lot more uh, useful for me anyway. So there's just two screws in the back, and this kind of just pulls apart so I'm gonna do that and we'll be back in just a minute okay here we are back in the uh, the inside here and we've got our two connectors here on the back side got these uh, nuts on there that need to be removed and see what we got so we'll start with this one here All right. yeah, I couldn't find a some small wrenches it would have worked a little better but uh, pliers uh, worked out okay alright that looks to one single wire there and I think if I looked at the other side correctly if I just heat up the center of the uh, connector there it's just soldered it's just soldered in there just the wire goes right to the center and there's just a solder blob there holding it together so I heated up from that side I should be able to just to pull the wire um, right through so got my soldering iron here I'll try to keep this uh, on camera if I can kind of got a cramped uh, workbench here so you have to bear with me here if this uh, doesn't quite work out. Yeah, there you go. Oops, probably wasn't in camera, was it? <laughs> anyway, you just heat up the center conductor and you pull the wire right out. So, not a problem with that one. nut off of here and everything else there. and it just pops right out so we'll get our um, B and C here get that out of the package So we got this guy's what we want to put in there. So looks like a pretty nice fit. Lock washer on here. Nut. Apologize for the the camera angles here, but uh, like I say, I've got kind of a crowded workbench and not any real convenient places to to uh, to mount the camera here. But you can see that you just have it protruding through here, and you just need to solder the wire on the center uh, connector right here, and then you'll you'll end up with a, a nice BNC instead of one of these. So, let 
tighten that guy up a little bit with my uh, plier wrench. I'm sure I'll find those little wrenches uh, as soon as I'm done with the project, right? Of solder in the connector. A little bit of solder on our wire. One down, one to go. So I'll see if the other one cooperates here. quite sure how old this one is here but it's in pretty decent shape it looks like the uh, capacitors had been replaced uh, recently so looks like it's all ready to go all right well, maybe I shouldn't have not much wire to play with there so maybe I should have left that nut on there until I unsolder the wire I think I can still work with that. So, let's see if we can. Grab this wire. Solder's got uh, kind of a smell to it, but yeah, if you, uh, if you ever see one of these at a ham fest or something, and uh, kind of a good thing to pick up. So there we go. We got this guy out, and just goes in there and gets soldered right there. The wire just sticks through there, and it just gets heated there so what you got to do is you got to hold on to the other end of it the wire and kind of gently uh, pull on it while you heat this up here and the wire will just pull right out so there you go well I won't uh, I won't bore you with uh, watching me solder this last one on but uh, I'll, uh, I'll get that one on and uh, get it back together and we'll see what we get so we'll be back in just a bit all right here we are all back together and we'll turn it on and Got two nice shiny BNC connectors instead of those old uh, audio type connectors. I don't even know what those are called. If anybody knows uh, what they're called and uh, what their claim to fame was, let me know. But um, that's what they look like over here. Just uh, 
like so with one connection in the middle. So let me know if anybody knows what those are. But yeah, it's uh, it's looking nice and shiny, and it's got a nice little output there too. So how about that? So we're all set for some uh, for some use and uh, us usable years yet to come out of this uh, uh, Heathkit RF signal generator, the uh, RF-1. So until next time, this is the Radio Geek.